welcome back to my channel i'm miss lauren lee 11 and today i'm going to be showing you um let's say a week in my s curl texturizer gel wash and go so this is day one my hair is not yet dried i've just finished applying some parts at the back are dried but my hair is pretty damp so this is it this is what my hair is looking at right now I'm gonna let my hair air dry and let you know how long it takes to air dry. And we'll just see how my hair turns out as the days go on. I'm just gonna show you the back before I go. That's it. Hey guys, so this is day two of my s -Curl Texturizer Gel Review. And these are the results. I've shown these in my last wash and go, which was the s -Curl Texturizer <laughs> wash and go. I mentioned that I had some just slight frizzing but nothing too much but it doesn't matter because I'm going to kind of break the cast and try and get my hair to puff up a little. I'm not going to manipulate it in any way i.e. pick my hair at the roots or anywhere else. I'm literally just going to try and break the cast out, get my hair to be a bit more fluffier and then that will be it for day two. So I'm going to do that now. It didn't lay my edges super well but it, done, it didn't do a bad job. Didn't do a bad job. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just crunch out the cast, okay? Or smooth out the cast. Do you know how satisfying this is, guys? I've been waiting to do this the whole time. I had to get on camera just to do, oh, this feels so good. As you can see, even though I'm doing that, I'm getting a bit of frizz and definition, but for volume, you need a bit of frizz. I don't wanna overdo it, because then, it would just defeat the whole purpose and you'll just get frizzy hair. Can you see that guys? Just got a shine. It's nice and smooth. No sticky tacky feeling. I'm really impressed. Still struggling a little to break the cast and I don't want to overdo it. There you go, it's getting softer now. So to break the cast, you do have to smooth it out a few times, but then you'll be creating frizz. And I'm planning on having my hair like this for five days. So I don't want to um, manipulate it too much. As you can see, guys, there's a slight difference. This side is more flat. This side is more, a little bit poofy, a little bit more volume to it. So I'm going to go ahead and do this side. So this side, yeah, it feels more crunchy, but not your usual eco styler type crunch. So to do this guys, I think I might have to section my hair just to get the full effects. There you go, so that cast is broken, that is nice. So I think I'm just gonna have to run my hands down it a few, there you go, I can feel it coming out now, it's getting soft. And I can see little bits flying around, but it's not like anything crazy. Oh, that's better. That is better. As you can see, I've got shrinkage and I actually like it because it just looks, it looks so cute. Let me do this section like that. So yes, guys, I just figured out to break the class, you have to run your hands through I think it'd be better to do it in small sections so you don't miss any pieces. There you go, a bit more volume. Oh, so yeah, I'm getting a bit of flake in there. Can you see that, guys? Oh, that's disappointing. Disappointing because the hair looks so good. Well, let me see how this looks off camera, guys. Hold on. To be fair, I think that flaking may be an error of mine. I left a little bit of the conditioner in my hair when I was rinsing out. The, it was basically it was a that you um you had you 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 could you do. I left a little bit of the conditioner in my hair, and I think this is what happened. And it wasn't a lot that I used it as a leave-in. I didn't rinse out my hair thoroughly, as the bottle suggested. So obviously it's just mixing with another product, I guess. But that's not too bad. I'm hoping it will get bigger throughout, because I don't want to pick it. Ooh, I like it, I like it. 
looking nice. If you want super defined hair, this is definitely a gel, a gel to try. It works so well in my daughter's 4B hair. So for you 4Bers and 4Cers wondering if it's just working for my hair because of my curl pattern, not necessarily. My daughter, her hair tends to get quite dry and she doesn't actually have a curl pattern. But when I put this on her hair, you can see slight waves and it sleeps her hair very nice. Okay, so that's what I'm doing for now. I think I'll leave it like that for today. Oh, wow. There's a lot going on. Yeah, so I've got a bit of volume, a little bit of frizzing as you can see. That's fine. Yay! I like it. Okay, so this is day two. So we're going to see tomorrow, day three, what happens. I may throw it up in a bun, to be honest, because I'm going to go and do some yoga and I don't want my hair flapping in my face. Just put it in one of my famous loose messy buns. There you go. Some strands. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that was a bit much, wasn't it? I like the frizzy looks. It looks like, I think when your hair's done to perfection, it looks a bit, that's a bit forced. I like this. I like the frizz. I'm going to leave my edges to be honest guys, because I'm just going to go and sweat. So there's no point in doing up my edges for today. Right, so there you go. I'm putting it in the bun today. Okay, this is day two. Right, let me show you the back. that is it so thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you tomorrow day hey guys three. welcome back this is day three and as you can see <laughs> maybe this wasn't what you were expecting but throwing my hair up into a bun i had my i was gonna say my helmet i had my body on last night and took it off this morning but if you just want to look guys look at this so day three i got beautiful definition like i mentioned before i have never had such definition in the back of my hair like this without multiple application. Uh, let me just take my whole hair down. Yeah, so this is basically why I've had my hair up. I think I love the definition this gel gives me, but with definition, you don't get volume. Well, that's what I think anyway. There has to be some type of frizz or less definition for volume. And my hair just, to me just feels flat, especially at my roots where it's so super defined. You can see it's super defined, super shiny. I do have some fluffy bits here, which I'm not too impressed about. I didn't go over them with a the gel just because I just wanted to see how my hair would hold out. Um, overall guys, I think for a wash and go, it's very good. As I said, I know this is day three. I'm gonna go and wash my hair because I am getting, I don't know if you can see it, pick it up on camera. I am getting a bit of flaking but I do think that's because of the uh, the conditioner I, I used in my hair when I washed my hair, the rinse out conditioner. But uh, other than that, guys, I definitely recommend for you to try the SK Texturizer Gel. Absolutely. I will be doing another wash and go with this. Maybe not on camera, but I, I mean, just in, just in general, just, you know, because it's such a lovely gel. <laughs> oh, another thing as well, though, guys, if you have my length of hair, my hair is armpit length armpit to bra strap length right if you have my length of hair i will say this guys my jaw as you saw i used what was it two thirds of the jaw and it's pretty much done so if you are going to buy this gel just be aware guys but for definition this is the stuff guys luster's s curl texturizer gel <laughs> this is the stuff guys so yes that is it um, as I said, I'm not going to last much longer. I'm just, just going to go and wash my hair now because it's getting on my nerves. Like, see this, this, this is getting on my nerves. I can't, I can't bear to look at it. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I didn't make it to five days, guys. I just, I just can't go on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't make it through the whole week. But you know, hey, I've got some good videos coming up for you soon. I'm very uh, excited about filming those. So stay tuned and I will see you in the next one. Bye.